What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian Garcia, Toronto here with Toronto Racing. So today's video should be relatively short because there's just something I want to talk about on the car and show you guys what I'm going to do to, uh, you know, quote unquote, fix it. So let me sh go ahead and just show you guys right now what, it's, what it is I want to go over today and what I bought in order to sort of take care of that this problem. This is going to be or pertaining to the uh, wide body. So a lot of the uh, wide body cars, when they first came out, there was people writing about um kind of debris hitting the flares and tearing them up a little bit and as you can see the lower i get on this flare here the more chewed up it is from rocks and everything now i have been daily driving the car for about a month now or pretty much ever since i finished it and you can see it's getting it's getting chewed up pretty bad and this is the only spot on all the flares um that that's happening on so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the other side right here and you can see the same thing is uh, sort of happening where it's just getting pelted and it's even got some road tar here and there on them. And like I said, it's the only flare, the only part of the car, it's just dirt that's getting sort of uh, beat up like that. So, decided to go ahead and get some mud flaps, mud guards from ZL1 add-ons. So let me go ahead and open this up and uh, take out what, uh, what's inside. All right guys, so I got everything laid out here. Now these are the front uh, mud guards here. Uh, those were the rear, but they're packaged exactly the same. And what this piece of paper here is telling us is that there are two different size clips because some of the flares coming from the factory are a little thicker and a little thinner. So these are the differences between the clips. You can see right here, you got one that's thinner and one that's thicker. So that's for the thicker set of flares, that's for the thinner set of flares. So the way it's designed, it's actually supposed to be just clipped in right here on the uh, wide body cars. But if you're like me or you're following my channel, this is an OEM wide body. So that's the reason I wanted to make the video is because it's not gonna install um, like it would on an uh, OEM wide body car. So we're gonna have to uh, get creative here and sort of figure out how we're gonna put these on there and not utilize these clips or try to utilize the clips. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna do some, maybe drill some uh, holes here and put some rivets in. Uh, but first things first is I gotta get this wheel off the car. So let's do that. All right, so got the wheel off. So let's go ahead and see if we can line up this uh, flare. So if you notice, you can see it's got that nice textured uh, pattern to it. I'm gonna have that face on the outside and then have this sort of smooth plastic uh, face on the inside of the car. So you can see down here, it's getting pelted as well. So, there you should just go like that and as you can see because they are aftermarket even if it were to line up on the edge right here you wouldn't be able to use a clip one of the clips to hold this in place so actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do what I said and drill some holes and use some plastic rivets I'm thinking of using this hole and lining it up with that hole right there and holding that in place with a plastic rivet or a metal rivet and then drilling the other holes over here and just turning this in slightly so that's what i'm gonna do and uh i'm gonna get started and i'll show you guys the uh, final product all right well there you go uh definitely not too hard now the rivet didn't exactly fit right there so what i did was i just took this random um screw and nut and i put a little loctite on there and put that in that hole and then i just lined this up with the edge right here and put in my uh, three rivets now the rivet length that i used um, they're these long rivets. Pretty sure I got these at Home Depot or Lowe's. I want to say I got them at Home Depot. My rivet gun, I'm pretty sure I got that at a Harbor Freight. So nothing too expensive. I've had this for like maybe five years, the same little kit. Or maybe Amazon, I can't remember. And of course I just used a screwdriver and the uh, ratchet wrench to get this uh, screw in. But other than that, pretty simple. I'll look at it from this side. I'm actually happy it doesn't hang down too low, so when I get the car up, up and down a trailer, I won't have any issues. But yeah, pretty happy with that. So 
So now I'm gonna go ahead and figure out the back and then do the uh, driver's side of the car. All right, so I got the rear tire off, uh, rear wheel and tire off, and for the most part, gonna be the uh, same thing. I've already started mocking this up and the bottom hole doesn't really have anywhere to bolt into. So what I think I'm gonna actually do is have this very top piece right here. I'm gonna have it line up as much as possible right there along the bottom edge and try to cover up as much of uh, this as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing and put rivets in the bigger portion of this plastic piece right here and put the rivets in right through here. So let's see how I can figure this out. Um, this part's not really gonna have much to hang on to, but we're just gonna have to figure it out and go from there. So let me get started. Alright guys, there it is. I did the same thing, just three rivets, sort of in the meat of where the flare and the uh, mud guard is. Uh, when you're drilling the hole, uh, just be a little careful. See my drill bit walked a little bit. Not that it really matters, but I just think you know, it looks a little ugly. Um, but yeah, I just did the same thing. Got as close to the edge as possible up here. And just put rivets in, like I said, in the meat of where the flare is and where the uh, new mud guard is. Now there's nothing to really hold it on down here, but it, it's so stiff with these rivets in that I'm not really too worried about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw these wheels and tires up in the front and the rear, and then I'm gonna turn the car around and do the other side. All right, so change of plans. I just cranked the car up to move it, and she was dead on E. So I'm actually gonna go fill it up and go get a drink out of the gas station. All right guys, so I just finished everything. I finished wrapping everything up, car is back on the ground. Um, there's not really much of an aesthetic to this things really. Um, just a little, you know, just a little mud flap. So I'm not gonna do a complete walk around like I normally do, but I will tell you that I think they are extremely beneficial, especially if you wanna protect the paint on your wide body. So don't be like me and learn the hard way. And now I know that I said I want to take care of all the imperfections of my wide body. And the reason I haven't done that is because as you can see, as time goes on, more things start getting messed up. And by the end of the year, the car's gonna have so many more scars that I just wanna go ahead and take care of them. At the end of 2020 rolling to 2021, versus fixing everything on it now and then having to fix it again at the end of the year after I've done a bunch of autocross and racing and stuff like that. So let me show you guys uh, how much I paid for these things real quick. All right, so here's my invoice. I got it from Zeal One Add-ons, and I'll put a link to this in the description below. And basically on, online, you just pick whether you want the, only the front or the front and the back. So I got the front and the back so it like matches. And you can see I paid uh, just right about a hundred bucks. So not too expensive. It can save you a ton of money uh, if you ever want to fix your paint. All right, guys, so that wraps up uh, today's video. Uh, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you love this video, hit that subscribe button and uh, leave a comment below. So until next time, guys, peace out.